Before we move on and see some new features, I'd like to explain some of the naming conventions I'm using that I haven't explained. The first one up here is the reason I call this one Factory, and the other one I like to look at is why I'm calling this wrapper. Let's start with Factory. If you think of a real life factory, it's basically something that creates many copies of the same thing. And that's exactly what the factory function does. It creates many copies of the same thing. In this case, it's returning this copy of this mount function, which receives the app and the props as an argument. So every time I need to create a new instance, I just call factory. So that's very straightforward. The other one I'd like to talk about is wrapper and why I'm calling this wrapper. I have a little demonstration over here. And the way you normally create a view app is you call create app from view. And then you call create app and pass in your app component. Often this is called something like VM or app. I'm calling it VM here just for the convention. And wrapper is basically a very convenient wrapper around this VM, which gives you some useful methods and mounting options. You can actually access this VM if you need to. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm just going to jump down into my test here and do a console log. And we're going to do a log on wrapper.vm. And if we save this off, we're going to see some properties, for example, count. Just to illustrate this, I'm going to add another property to my app. I'm going to create one called data, and this is going to return an object which is going to have a message. And I'm just going to say hello for that message to illustrate how this works. If I now save this one off, you can see I'm getting that logged as well. Here is my message. And you'll be able to access anything you normally would be able to access here, for example, methods or computed properties. Now that we've seen that, let's move on and see some of the other features we have with View Test Utils and touch on the Composition API because so far we've only talked about the Options API, but there's no reason you can't use all these techniques for the Composition API as well.